In today's video, we're going to figure out a way to test different materials and how well they perform when it comes to sound absorption. The way we're gonna do this isn't gonna be a traditional way. We're really gonna go ahead and use PVC pipe flange plates. And yes, I'm well aware that this is a toilet flange plate, but it is all that I could find. So we're gonna make use of it. I'm gonna use some old speakers, my cell phone, and a few other little products here and there. And we're just gonna come up a way of being able to actually test whether or not a material is good at absorbing sound and be able to compare that to another material. It's not gonna be the greatest test in the world, but it's at least gonna give us a gist of whether or not it performs better or worse compared to the other material. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started and go over what materials you're gonna need. To start off, you're gonna need two flange plates, a metal disc. This one's actually completely optional. It just pertains to our specific testing. You're gonna wanna grab an old speaker that you're willing to take apart, or you could just use your cell phone. Next, you'll grab a four inch PVC pipe. Ours was approximately two foot long. We even spray painted it just to make it look a little nicer. You also need some nuts and bolts so that you can fasten the two flange plates together, but you can also get away with using tape or glue. You may also want to grab a rubber seal with adhesive on it. This one's also optional, but it'll definitely help the results of the test. You'll probably need to use a hot glue gun, and you'll also need a foam board. And last but not least, you'll need something to measure the sound. You can either use an app on your cell phone, or you can use a traditional decibel meter. All right, so let's get started. First, grab one of the flange plates and the rubber seal. This step's fairly simple. You just need to apply the rubber seal around and cut it to length. And then just repeat this step for the other flange plate. Next up, we'll just add the metal plate in between the two flange plates, and then we'll fasten everything together using the nuts and bolts. Again, you can probably use tape or glue, uh, whatever is easier for you. Since the old pair of speakers that we chose for this test had two speakers, we're going to disconnect one so that it doesn't interfere. To do this, I just had to unscrew the speaker box and then solder off the wires. For the primary speaker that I'm gonna use, I just needed to remove it from the speaker box and solder it off so that I had the ability to attach it to the PVC pipe. For this next step, I'm going to trace the shape of the speaker onto the foam board and then cut it out using an X-Acto knife. This foam board piece is actually going to serve two functions. One, it'll be our way of attaching the speaker to the pipe, and two, it'll help prevent unwanted sound from entering inside the tube. As you may or may not be able to tell, I am obviously not great with X-Acto knives. Once that shape is cut out, I went ahead and attached the speaker to the foam piece using the screws that were used in the speaker box. You can also get away with using hot glue or tape. In order to attach the speaker to the PVC pipe, I used hot glue, but honestly I could have just used tape. For the next step, I repeated this process using the foam board, but instead of using the PVC pipe for the cutout, I used the flange plate. I then needed to cut out a section of the foam board for me to be able to insert the microphone side of my cell phone in order for the decibel meter app to work. In order to attach this piece to the flange plate, I went ahead and used gaff tape instead of hot glue as I found it to be quite a bit easier. So now it's finally time for us to actually start testing. I have hooked up my speaker to my laptop. I found a white noise source on Spotify, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And the way I'm gonna do it to start off is I'm gonna go ahead and attach the flange plates inside of the PVC, and I will pull up my decibel meter app so that we have a way of measuring this. And essentially the way the test is gonna work is I'm going to insert here. The biggest factor to keep in mind is that you wanna make sure your mic on your cell phone is at the exact same spot every time. So find a way of aligning it with the foam board cutout like I'm doing. All right. 
counts. So I have it inserted and I'm going to start it. I'm going to start the white noise at the exact same time and I'm gonna play it for the exact same amount of time each test. To start off, we're gonna use no barrier, so no uh, material whatsoever, just to get a baseline of what the results will look like um, and compare it to what it will look like with a material. So let's go ahead and do it and get started. So now we have all our results and we can screenshot that or save this and then go from there. So now that we have our test down pat, you can now go through and test different materials. For our second test, we added butyl patch, which is commonly used to absorb noise in automotive panel holes. And as you can tell with the results, just by adding the material, we're able to show its impact with quantifiable results. All right, and there we have it. That is our test. Now we can use this whenever we want to test out different materials. The biggest thing is making sure you're consistent. So if you have one material that you're trying to compare to another material, you know, design and thickness, they're all gonna play a part towards how much noise is getting through or being absorbed by the material. So check out the description below. I'll leave a list of all the materials and supplies that I used where I got them from. If you see any room for improvement, leave a comment below. Hopefully we can come up with an even better version of this test one day. Obviously it's not the greatest test in the world, but it is something that you can use at any point. Test out your creativity, find ways of improving upon what you're already doing. That's the best part about this. You don't have to go through a third party. You can do it in-house, anytime, any moment. Be sure to comment below if you have any ideas or any thoughts about how we could improve upon this test. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, with that said, I'll let you get to it and have a great day.